Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam's Doing Stuff. So what's Sam doing today? Well, I've got an opportunity to get rid of some stuff, uh, like lots of spoils that were left here. We've been cleaning up this property since we moved in. You know, it's just what we do. We improve, improve, improve. And there's plenty to improve around here. So I've got a lot of just debris, just like I said, spoils that was left over, and I need to clean it up. Now this is one of those things that if I didn't have my Kubota BX, there's no way you know, that I could do any of this. So this is all gonna be tractor work. Let's get busy. All right, so we're gonna start right here with this mess. Low range, four wheel drive, give it some RPMs. And because I'm loading into a dump trailer, you know, you can't take an absolutely full scoop. You know, you wanna kind of be judicious what you're uh, putting out of here. This is mostly rocks. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what all's in here. A lot of rocks, bricks, just absolute spoils. And, uh, you know, I can make a lot of noise hanging in there. at all for this stuff here. It's just spoiled. But we got a place to dump it now. Can you imagine what this would take to do this by hand? First of all, I can't lift most of these rocks. Second of all, it'd take a lifetime. So before I get too far with that big pile, there's a couple of things I absolutely have to get loaded.
That's the largest load I've ever had in this trailer. Easily. Not volume wise, but weight wise for sure. That is a big, big load. I'm hoping it doesn't have any trouble dumping it. And I'm really surprised I got it back this far. So where's it going? In the bottom of the pool. Well, now we really got a problem. It's too much weight. The dump trailer won't dump it. Crap. I don't know if it translates on camera, but I cannot believe I loaded that rock in the back of that with my Kubota BX. I didn't lift it off the ground, but I pushed it in the trailer, and that's all that mattered. Keep it coming. Keep it, that's good, right there. Scared all right. F-150 tools stuck F-350 out of a jam. I did all right. I did all right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know what I said? It doesn't matter how you do it as long as you get it done. That's right. We need another truck. We get another truck. Yeah, Whatever it takes. Look, neighbor's got trucks. I can't believe it. I, I, I really just way overloaded that trailer. Oh, well. It's done. On to the next thing. All right. We're back. Time to get another load of junk. That first load was way too big. We are not going to overload it this time. Come on. There it goes. We got it. place I want to finish getting cleaned up is up here in the wood yard. This is a lot of dirt, but it's mixed with rock and pieces of barn and everything. It'll make good fill. Got to get it out of here.
that's quite an improvement. A lot more room in the wood yard. And uh, I've got uh, quite a load here. I think that's good enough, considering what happened last time. So I'm gonna take this over, I'm gonna dump it, and uh, hopefully not get stuck this time. But it feels really good to get a lot of this mess cleaned up. And I got a nice place to put it in the bottom of my parents' pool. They need the fill and I don't need the junk. It's a win-win for both of us. And uh, you know, couldn't do it without the tractor, that Kubota BX, I'm telling you, you know, oh, if you own land, you gotta have one. You just have to. Oh. So anyway, appreciate it. Things are getting done, really moving forward, project after project, we just keep chipping away at them. And uh, hopefully that pool deck is gonna be done. Oop, did I say pool deck? <laughs> Hopefully that deck is going to be done really soon, and I will catch you next time when I am doing more stuff. See you then.